Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be learning about how we expand brackets. So we'll just get right into it. So let's start with something simple like x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2. Now, the way to remember how to expand brackets is to use the acronym FOIL. FOIL stands for first, outside, inside, last. So we start with the outside. What we do is we multiply x by x and 1 times 2. Then we'd get x squared as x times x is x squared, just like 5 times 5 would be 5 squared, and we'd have 2 times 1, which is 2. Then we do the inside, 1 times x and 2 times x. 1 times x is just x and 2 times x is 2x. So when you simplify this, we get x squared and then we add 2x to 1x. This would give us 3x and then we're left with 2 and that would be your answer. Sometimes you'll have a positive and a negative. The way we do this is we start with the outside again, x times x is x squared, and 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Because an important rule to remember is the operation is always positive unless there are two negatives sorry unless the operations are different so if you have two negatives that would equal a positive if you have a positive and a negative that would be a negative and if you have a positive and a positive that would be a positive so the operations are always positive unless the operations are different so here we have plus and minus so that's going to be negative now doing the inside we have plus x and minus x, so that leaves us with x squared minus 1. Now let's try two minuses, x minus 3 and x minus 2. For these, you've got to do the outside again to get x squared, then minus 3 times minus 2. Remember that two minuses make a plus. So that would just be 3 times 2, which is 6. You'll then have minus 3x and minus 2x. This would give you x squared, and then you need to simplify minus 3x minus 2x, which is minus 5x plus 6. A simple trick that would help you remember minusing a minus number with another minus number is to just add them and then add a minus number in front. For example, if you have minus 4x minus 6, sorry, yeah, minus 6x, note that 4 plus 6 is 10, and just add a minus in front of it. If you have a minus 6x minus 7x, 7 add 6 is 13, and just add a minus in front of it. If that's easier for you to remember, as a lot of people get confused with adding and taking away minus numbers, which can actually cost you a mark in the exam. So now I'm going to leave a few questions with you. And you can pause the video and try them. So you can pause the video now and try these questions. Once you're done, just press play again and we'll talk through how we got the answer. Okay, so now if you've played the video, that means that you are ready for the solutions. So for the first question, we do the outside. We get x squared plus 9 times 3, which is 27. Doing the inside, we'll get plus 3x plus 9x. So therefore, we'd get x squared plus 12x plus 27. 
For the next video, doing the outside, we'd get x squared plus 4 as it's a minus times a minus, minus x minus 4, which equals, minus 4x, sorry, which equals x squared minus 5x plus 4. For the last question, we'd have x squared minus 2, minus 2x two plus x, that would be x squared minus x minus 2. And those are your solutions. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.